Hey guys, today's gonna be another one of my tool review videos. Part of my new series that I'm coming out with of tools that I have used in some cases for years. Um, and this one I'm gonna be comparing to. I'm gonna be comparing the M18 Packout wet dry vac with the little Makita two gallon wet dry vac. Go over some of the pros and cons and tell you why I decided to use the one I'm using. Stay tuned. Okay, basically, this one has more volume. I think it's two and a half gallons. Um, I was able to get a wet filter for it. And something I'll show you. As y'all can see, I use these. The filter, excuse me, the float is stationary on the vacuum and it fits inside the filter no matter which filter you use. That's not the case with the Makita, which is one of its drawbacks. But as y'all see here, we have an O-ring that goes all the way around it. And because your suction's coming out of the bottom, it is crucial You see, that's like three tries and it's still not sealed. It's not real easy to get it to seal. And these two latches on the side are not very sturdy. When you got two and a half gallons of water, see, I still took my time and it's still not sealed in there. I just didn't like the these little latches I did have one come loose on me and spill water everywhere and I didn't like that I was losing my vacuum through this right here no matter I mean it was constant you really got to pay a lot of attention to, to line these up right so that's the reason I quit using this one it may be rated at a higher suction than that one but because of this it rarely performs that way and to be honest I had a similar problem with this one until I fixed it and I'll go over that oh and something else with the Milwaukee one that is almost always like that I can never get it to stay in here when it's in my van it falls out and just dangles on the side like that that's that's just how it is on this one the hose has a nice little place for it and it clicks in it stays more secure and I wanted to point out that these latches are more secure they feel more sturdy and when you set it down it has a unique shape there's really on, only one way for it to go so you're not misaligning it now the drawbacks I may be wrong here but as y'all see the float there stays in the filter when you take the filter out and you have to remove this piece with those little tabs right there bend them up and remove it and put it in the new filter so what i do i use this i have cut it out to use it as a wet filter just so i can have the float and i have another filter when i'm vacuuming dust there may be a wet filter for one of these i haven't looked in a while but um that's just how i've had to be able to vacuum water and on this one this o-ring used to come out on me all the time i was having to put it back in so i let it get completely dry cleaned it out and i put silicone all along at the base of where this gasket goes and i put the o-ring back in and i've never had another problem with it and now i get all the suction it just 
it just does better i like it i get two speeds i think i got two speeds on that one too my hose wraps away and this fits nicely inside that um diy vac that i use to vacuum out drains so i like it i can read my battery level from outside and my attachments the only two that i use fit right here the attachments on this one fit in the top and i have lost them i used to use this space for my diy vac but um i don't use this one anymore this is my preference um, I like the size. I like that it seals up with the water. It's got nice sturdy latches on it. So when I pick it up, I don't worry about water spilling out. And as y'all see, this is the Makita XCV11. I, um, I use both. A lot of my 18 volt tools are Makita. I do prefer the Milwaukee 12 volt, but, um, this is the vacuum that I use on a daily basis. Guys, I do hope that was a little bit helpful. That little Makita vacuum. I would say for 90% of the clogged drains that I come across, it's plenty enough to um, vacuum them out in combination with this right here. And this is the DIY vac. If you're in HVAC and you're clearing drains, you need one of these. I hope you enjoyed. Please like and subscribe. Like I've said in the past, this will be a new series for me. Well, who are you? I've got a visitor. I was doing that video and felt something on my leg. I hope you enjoy. Please like and subscribe. And I'll catch you all in the next one. I'm going to go over them, some pros and cons, and why I use which one I've decided to use. Hmm.